In this Getting Started lesson, we'll learn about charting in WealthLab and controlling the data used in charts. Let's get started by opening a simple chart window. Pre-select a symbol in a data set and then click New Chart Window from the Function Toolbar or use the Control Shift C shortcut. When a chart window is in focus, the Function Toolbar changes to charting mode. Use the Adjust Bar Spacing buttons to increase, restore, and decrease the number of bars displayed in the chart area. Or you can use the mouse wheel. With the next group of buttons, you can quickly switch between chart styles, like the candlestick style you see here. Open high-low close bar charts, line charts, and depending on installed extensions, the More button can contain more or fewer styles than you see here. Right-click the chart area to configure a chart style settings. The settings dialog will have different options according to the current style. In order to modify settings for the overall chart environment, select Chart Colors and Styles from the context menu. Switch the scaling of the price pane's y-axis between linear and log scales here. And finally, here's a good shortcut to know for the next three show buttons. Clicking them while holding the Alt key affects all charts in the workspace. For example, this shows and hides the chart status bar on the selected chart, but clicking it while holding the Alt key does it for all charts. Now, let's learn how to control the data loaded into charts. First, with the scale control, WealthLab can rescale the data from a native scale into higher time frames. For example, we can take the data from a daily data set and display it in weekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly bars. In the same way, you can rescale intraday data to higher multiples of the native interval, or even daily or higher scales as well. To change the most common scales right from the chart, hover the mouse pointer above the scale arrow and click the desired scale. Data range controls how many bars are loaded in a chart. There are four basic options. All data available, a specified number of bars, the most recent period of years, weeks, months, or days, or a specified date range. And finally, notice that the data panel retains the settings separately for each chart window. In the next segment, we'll see how easy it is to spruce up charts with indicators and drawing tools. Thanks for coming.